our main goal today is to see if we can endure these nice little round devil horns that are above my eyebrows because I got new glasses. I've worn glasses since I was 11 years old and I am super, super blind. So I always wear contacts because my glasses just never got replaced. So now that I actually have glasses that I really feel comfortable in, I would love to film in because glasses are such a huge part of my identity, but I never ever wear them on camera. But I am nervous that the glare is a little bit too distracting. So let me know. This is a video entitled End of the Year TBR. This is a tag made by Margaret the Word Nerd. She is lovely and amazing and one of my oldest friends on here. So please go out and check this video, support her in general, and she is lovely. The first question on here is a new release that you want to get to. And the first one is Beautiful World Where Are You? I absolutely adore Margaret. I do adore Margaret. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. I absolutely adore Sally Rooney's writing. Conversations with friends and normal people both really touched me. Absolutely loved them. So I'm really excited to read her third novel and I've been avoiding spoilers like the plague. Like every time someone posts it, I'm like, it's so beautiful. But also I won't even read the first line of the description. And then for an upcoming release that I'm really excited for is These Violent Ends by Chloe Gon. Oh my goodness, these violent delights like just blew me away. I love Romeo and Juliet. I love the 20s. I love the jazz age. I love that it was Chinese inspired. It was just so wonderful and I'm so excited for duology and everything that Gon writes in the future. I won't be doing every prompt by here because some of them just don't apply to me, but the next one is a series you want to continue, and this is March by John Lewis. This is graphic novel memoirs that are a story of his life. I read the first one, and I'm really excited to dive more into John Lewis. He was a civil rights leader in the 1960s. He was only 24 on the March of Washington, which was where Martin Luther King Jr. gave his speech on I Have a Dream. So I'm just super excited to read this and learn more about his life. I found it already really enthralling and really interesting, and I learned lots about him. The next prompt on here is to pick a book that was on a previous TBR. Margaret, why, why do you have to do this to me? <laughs> I probably have almost every book that I've ever read is on so many TBRs ever. There are very few books that I just like read for the first time and read it all the way through in one month, especially my physical TBR. So I could literally give you a list of the 30 currently reading books or just even more the books that I haven't read at all or haven't added to Goodreads because I'm ashamed. The shame is real. The one I picked on here is Weather by Jenny Offal. This is because I have to begin it again. I absolutely love it. It is a collection of the nets that throughout the middle-aged woman who is a librarian at a university that she used to attend. She really enjoys psychoanalyzing people and being in people's lives and she gets asked to write answers to this existential podcast in which we talk about our fears and I have loved it so much but it's all like but no section is more than like a few paragraphs which means that I was carrying around as my purse book, a book that I carry around and read whenever I have time. This was not the book for that, not at all. So I really need to restart it. I've restarted it once before and not because I just liked it, but I'm like, I have to draw all of this together and I really want to understand it and love it. So this is a book that I need to read and just sit down and read it for like a day and it's going to be wonderful because I always just never get distracted when reading. The next question is a reread that I want to have before the end of the year. This is an ongoing reread. This book is Anne of the Island and this is the third book in the Anne of Green Gable series when she is in college and I absolutely loved this book when I read it the first time and now that I am definitely college age and surpassed <laughs> I would love to reread it and I enjoyed so much the first like 80 pages that I read and I really just need to pick it up and finish it before the end of the year. Fall is the perfect time for this. The next prompt is a 2021 buy book and it's a book that I bought in 2021 like most not most of my TBR but a lot of books I have bought this year and one that I'm really excited to finish is White Sarger Sea by Jean Rhys. This is a retelling of or reimagining of the story of Bertha May who is the first wife of Mr. Rochester. I have a confusing relationship with Jane Eyre, as in I love parts of it, I hate parts of it, I think that it's misogynistic and racist, but also some of the aspects of mental health is really good, and I feel like before I can do a full review of it, I really need to read this book. I really, also there's other books about Madwife in an attic and how we look at that, but this is a book that I just really want to read before I have my final thoughts on Jane Eyre, which I finished in March, so I really need to finish this book and analyze it and it's so short and so well written that I just really want to finish it because I bought it literally in March right as soon as I finished Jane Eyre. The next one is pretty much the same thing which is a book that's on your physical TBR. I never quite understand what physical TBR versus like owned books. That's I just consider my physical TBR books that I own and one of the ones on here, <laughs> let me grab it, 
Howard's and this is a book that oh it matches me so nicely this is nice this is E.M. Foster I've been wanting to read this for quite a while I watched the 1990s movie a while ago which has a very young Helen Bonham Carter and it was it was lovely and wonderful and uh, I really just enjoyed it and I want to read more but it's one of those books where I find a lot of classic movies that if I read them I don't really understand a lot of the characters deeper things because they have to go through so much of it and we don't really get the full psychological picture and it is really a comedy of manners and it's similar to the good soldier which i just read and absolutely loved and it looks at like the 1910 era where it's like everyone is like i'm super proper but also totally not sleeping with everyone behind the scenes and this is what this book is about and i'm super excited em foster is someone i am also I always call him em foster but his name is ashley forrester i am just dyslexic and yeah no he is a man i'm also super interested to read more about his life hopefully one day i will get my hands on maurice as well and learn about his story Another book that I'm super excited to read that I have on my physical TBR is Sense and Sensibility. This will be my final Jane Austen novel and I'm super excited to read it. I have not put it off so long because I haven't wanted to read it. I just want to like keep her stories and this story I know a lot about it but I'm just so interested to read and really analyze every sentence of this book and hopefully I will do this maybe November. I don't know. November-ish seems like a good month to read it. The hyped book that I have on this list is Jasmine Throne, and I am super interested in reading this, but I get to it because the issue is that sometimes I write these lists like almost a month before a film. Yeah, 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 I'm slow. But do I want to read this? I think I'm going to read it. I think that it's a sapphic story between this girl who's imprisoned and a prisoner who was, well, her guard and also a prisoner who was a princess who is imprisoned for her power and ability to maybe topple the throne and it sounds super interesting and wonderful i hope to get more into fantasy i used to primarily read fantasy i would say it's my favorite genre absolutely loved it through 90 percent of my life and the last two years i really really struggled with it and i don't know why but i'm hoping this winter will remedy that i have enjoyed some fantasy lately and i really hope this will be the book it is very long which i've also been more primarily leaning towards shorter books the last prompt that I'm going to be doing today is a previous DNF. So I do not DNF very often, but I have three choices on here. One is not really DNF, I just had to go back to the library, and this is The Beauty of Her Faces. And this is a story about a Muslim woman who is a principal in an all-girls school during a shooting by a white supremacist. And it is really her story about looking back at her past, looking at her Palestinian heritage, and looking at what that means to be in America in 2018, I think. And I'm really excited to it. The writing was so gorgeous and so wonderful, but I never read books in time to return them to the library. The next book on here is my most tentative, and this is Burnt Sugar. And I was so excited about this. I love stories that deal with loss. I love stories that deal with chronic illness. This is by an Indian author, and it's her story about her mother. And um, I wanted to love this. It was real rough. I do not like body. I do not like bodily fluids. <laughs> Like, just not my thing. And there was some hint that there is going to be some epidious issues in here. And I'm like, oh, but I also want to read more books. And it was like over half done and all of these things. And I'm just like, will I return? Then I can say and then I can give my whole thoughts. But also, yeah, I, I don't know what I feel about this book. The last one is Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. I DNF'd this way back in probably mid-2018, early 2018. It just was not a story that like... I didn't hate it, I just, I just didn't love it either. Since then I've read Ophie's Ghost by her and this is her middle grade debut and it was marvelous. Like I absolutely loved it. I gave it five stars. I was, I was fully immersed in the story, in the characters. I thought the writing was just fabulous and it was so, so lovely. And this really made me think, should I go back and read her old books? Probably. I probably really should. Let me know about the glasses. Let me know about everything. I love hearing your thoughts. I, it's why I do this. I love chatting books with people. So happy reading and writing, and I will see you next time. I don't want to be weirdly distracting, because look at this. <laughs> that feels like a weird thing to say. Oh, I call him E.M. Foster all the time. It's E.M. Forster. Forster. But his name is actually For Forster. <laughs>